Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about something that is probably not uh, the most sexy thing to discuss. Obviously, I do a lot of reviews of products that are meant to defend myself with, but at the end of the day, there are items that are out there that I'm going to start doing videos on to help safeguard the tools that I use each and every single day. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Stopbox Pro. This is a nice little gun safe that is, I think, something that you might consider. Full disclosure, these guys sent this out to me uh, with no strings attached. They're not paying me to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. I didn't even promise that I was going to do a video for them. I just said, yeah, I'll take a look at it and we'll go from there. So after having this for, I'd say about a month and a half, I decided to go ahead and um, put a just a quick review together for you guys to talk about this because I think that this might be something that you should consider. Uh, it is in a pretty decent size that you could put it into like a bookshelf. Uh, you could lay it on a coffee table uh, or you could even put it into a drawer into a nightstand. But one of the great things about this particular gun safe is the fact that you don't have to worry about batteries. Uh, you don't have to worry about any type of electronics or anything like that. It is set ready to go. Um, all you have to do is figure out the combination that you want on these finger switches here and you can get it opened up really, really quickly. It's got a nice foam interior and uh, it has a ability for you to change the combination anytime that you want just by redoing some of the internals right here and they provide all of the instructions on how to do that. Now, this is also going to be uh, pretty interesting too because it has the ability to have 81 different combinations on these five finger switches. So that's another huge plus with it. In addition to that, it is made of glass reinforced polycarbonate ABS, if I could say that correctly. So it's going to be pretty sturdy. Uh, I don't think that it's going to uh, withstand a bomb um, and it's not fireproof. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. But at the end of the day, I think that it is strong enough for uh, you to be able to put like your EDC in after a long day's work. And, um, you know, maybe you take it off and put it in your nightstand or something like that. You don't have to worry about your kids or something like that running around. Now, if we are responsible adults and we are responsible parents, we are naturally teaching our youngins to stay away from the firearms unless an adult is there to help them with it. Um, I know that that's what I've instilled in my kids. And I can tell you that I can leave any one of my firearms out and about for as long as I want and they will never mess with it. And that is just good parenting. Unfortunately, uh, not everybody subscribes to that ideology. And, um, you know, sometimes people just get busy and, and I understand that. So this is just one more tool in our toolbox to kind of help prevent accidents from happening. So there is that. One of the other great things too is it's got an eyelid right here on the thumb switch that allows you to put a padlock on here as well. So if you want to uh, completely secure this, then you can. I I'm gonna have to double check if this is uh, TSA rated. And if it is, I'll put it right here. But um, either way, this still gives you a second level of security with this. Now. The downside to something like this is the fact that, uh, number one, it is just one more step to get to your firearm in the event that you need to defend yourself, uh, especially while you're at home. That's something I completely understand and that's something that you're going to have to weigh for yourself. Uh, number two is this can just be easily picked up if people know what this is and carried out with them if someone's in your house that shouldn't be and is maybe burglarizing your house. Uh, they can definitely pick this up and run off with it. So just keep that in mind when um, you know putting this someplace where you don't want people to know where it is or 
however you're going to utilize this tool. Now, let's talk about uh, the size of this because Stopbox has been around for a little while and uh, their first iteration of Stopbox cases, uh, lock cases here, uh, were a little small, a little bit on the small side. I have my one of my EDCs, which is a CZ P10C with a Holosun 509T and a TLR7A. Um, obviously, this is empty, so no problems there. And uh, we can fit this in here. I'm going to justify it all the way down to the bottom, as you can see. And there is plenty of room for two magazines, a larger flashlight, um, maybe a tourniquet, your wallet possibly, or other valuables that you would want to lock up overnight or whatever the case may be. This might be something that you carry with you uh, if you are on, uh, I don't know, a trip, business trip or something like that, and you take your firearm with you, you can secure this overnight uh, while you are sleeping, whatever the case may be. Um, maybe you get into a place where you have to um, not carry. Um, I'm not a big proponent of that, but in some cases, you kind of have to. This might be something that you can put underneath the seat of your car. Uh, it does have that eyelid right here that you could put a cord through and lock it down to your seat. So there is that. Uh, yeah, so plenty of room with the Stopbox Pro, and that's one of the big features with this Pro model is it's larger and can easily accommodate any full-size firearm with an additional magazine. Now, uh, one of the things that you'll want to keep in mind is you are able to change the combination on this, um, which obviously I'm going to do. You're going to see me do this several times so you know what my combination is. I'm going to change the combination uh, after I get done with this video. And all you do is you just basically open this up right here and you are able to manipulate the internals to ensure that you get the combination that you want. Obviously, Stopbox has um, all of that available to you on their YouTube page and they can teach you how to do that. So fairly simple to change all of that up. The other great thing too is that uh, it's got these nice rubber pads on the bottom here that once you put it onto a hard flat surface, uh, it's going to kind of lock it into position. So you're not going to have to worry about this sliding around as you're trying to exert force to open this up. Essentially all you do is you're going to press against it and then put in the combination and it will open from there. Hopefully you guys can see that in the B-roll. So at the end of the day, again, this is going to be something that I think is going to be useful for you guys. Um, naturally, different strokes for different folks, but uh, definitely check this out uh, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so very much for stopping by checking things out. I really do appreciate all the support. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate you guys checking into that. And if you haven't checked out the Live Laugh LARP podcast that I'm doing with my cameraman Hefe, swing on by and check that out as well. I'll leave that in the pinned comment and it's also in the description of the video as well. Okay, we're going to go ahead and catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.